terrible things are happening in three of the world's biggest cities. Mysterious fires have broken out all across New York City. In Paris, ancient stone statues have come to life to terrorize its citizens. And in London, the people themselves are turning into horrible monsters. It's as if someone evil is imposing their will on the world. It looks like my visit to New York just became an investigation. Something is behind these fires, and I intend to find out what. People say there's a supernatural cause. They believe that a mythological creature is burning the city to the ground. The fires are constant, so police and firefighters are too busy dealing with them to find out who or what is behind them. Some people claim they saw a phoenix during one of the fires, but that can't be true, can it? It must be some sort of mass hallucination. I contacted the editor of the Investigative Times, a newspaper conducting an independent investigation of the fires. He agreed to meet me when he learned I was the famous detective Agatha. This looks like the newspaper offices, but what happened here? Oh, there's Eric Moore, the newspaper editor. Miss Agatha, I'm Eric Moore, the editor-in-chief of Investigative Times. I'm sorry, but I can't give you the info I promised. As you can see, whatever is causing these fires is targeting us now. All this time, I believed that the theories about the Phoenix were complete fiction. An anonymous informant sent me evidence of the mythical bird. But I didn't even have time to open the package when the Phoenix itself came crashing into the office. My beloved city is in grave danger. Please help us get to the truth behind this Phoenix, detective. Perhaps there's some evidence or clues left behind in the office. Wait, I'm sorry, miss. This area is dangerous. The structure was damaged and could collapse at any moment. Now, move along.
Oh, you're a detective, and the editor gave you permission to gather evidence? Well, look around, but be careful and stay out here. Everything that survived is out here on the sidewalk anyway.
So many fires. And these magic shows aren't making it any easier with their pyrotechnics. So many fires. Watch out! Who are you? And what are you doing here? What were you thinking? I'm Lieutenant Liz Brooks, and I'm not letting any more civilians get hurt on my watch. I don't care who gave you permission. So you're a private detective. And so experienced. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Thanks for joining the investigation. I should show Lieutenant Brooks what I've learned so far. An anonymous source contacted the editor with evidence about the fires, just after the paper began investigating the Phoenix case. A mysterious stranger brought the editor undeniable evidence that the Phoenix was responsible for the fires, and then hurried away. Immediately after the editor brought the package inside, there was an explosion. My guess is that the fire was time to destroy everything they had uncovered. Something doesn't add up here. There are reports of Phoenix sightings in places with no fires. Can you look into that? The address got smudged during the firefight, but hopefully you can clean it up enough to read it. Sorry to interrupt, but the fire is out, and we need to get back to the firehouse to prepare for the next call. I'm not sure this is the right place. Maybe that barber can help. Hello, miss. Can I help you? Are you here about the Phoenix? It seems to be on everyone's mind. Well, you're talking to the right person. I'll tell you where it was seen. But information isn't free. Look, I'm not asking for much. I'm sure the papers would pay me for the info. But I'll tell you everything I know if you help me advertise. I'm no artist, and you look like you know style. Make me some posters, and I'll give you a story. What do you say?
Excellent work! Now, do you see that warehouse? That's the place you're looking for. The guy that rents it goes in every morning and leaves every evening, sometimes carrying strange things. Nah, I don't know what he's doing. But a few days ago, there was a deafening explosion. I thought for sure that the phoenix was about to burn our neighborhood to the ground. I did see the phoenix, but there was no fire. The bird just... disappeared. Then that man locked the doors and left the warehouse, as if nothing had happened. Anyway, that's my story. Here, let me give you something extra to thank you for the posters.
The Phoenix! Oh, it was just a dove. The room is filled with posters and magic tricks. The tenant is an illusionist, and this must be his workshop. Judging by his workshop, he's no stranger to chemistry. If he was trying to create an explosion, the damage to this room suggests he succeeded. Could this be connected to the Phoenix? I have to inspect the warehouse to find out who used it. This is no hobbyist setup. This is a functional laboratory. Isn't me, or did I just see the phoenix? I need to collect some of this powder as evidence.
The train. Just in time. This is the hotel on the card. Houdini is supposed to be performing here. Ticket, please. I'm sorry, miss. I can't let you into Houdini's show without a ticket. If you didn't buy it yet, you still have a chance to win one. The ticket office is having a special drawing. The show has already started. I have to get inside. I might miss my chance to talk to Houdini afterward.
What luck! Congratulations, miss. Come on in. You still have time to enjoy the show. Stop the show! Mr. Houdini, you're under arrest on suspicion of arson. Come with me to the station. I'm sorry, officer, but I have another big performance coming up. Miss Agatha, I'm glad you're here. All of our evidence is pointing at Harry Houdini as our prime suspect. His fire shows are out of control. Unfortunately, Houdini has escaped. Have a look around here while I search the hotel. Magicians use all sorts of secret devices in their performances. If you can figure out Houdini's trick, maybe we can figure out where he went.
Houdini's been corresponding with someone. They share the results of their experiments, the fire powder, and the phoenix design. According to the drawings, Houdini assembled the wings to use in his tricks. Houdini designed each phoenix frame to burn to ash each time it appeared. I have to take a closer look at Houdini's dressing room. There must be a clue to tell me where he's gone. He's going for the fire escape. I have to cut him off. It's Houdini! He's getting away! Harry Houdini, you're under arrest. I'm sorry, officer. Not this time. Agatha, Houdini chained me to the stairs and ran away. Help! This is the same powder from Houdini's lab. There's enough here to destroy a whole block! That symbol again! The Phoenix has already hit the newspaper office. The Statue of Liberty must be the next target! Houdini experimented with the Phoenix design in powder to find the perfect balance for his tricks. His accomplice used moderate amounts for publicity. His accomplice made sure to keep their secret hidden. When the newspaper investigation got too close, he made their office the Phoenix's next target. The places marked with the Phoenix symbol became the victims of explosions and fire. 
and the accompanying Phoenix sightings drew more attention to Houdini's fiery performances. Houdini plans to perform his Phoenix stunt on the Statue of Liberty. He's going to put on a show and destroy the statue just like the building. We have to stop him. This is going to be dangerous. We need help. Agatha, please take my car to go after him. Find a way to keep him from performing at the Statue of Liberty until I get help. Houdini and his accomplice are getting away. Stop! Don't blow up the Statue of Liberty! I have to find a boat to stop them. I can't let them destroy the statue. A port officer can help me find a boat. Good evening, miss. Ah, Liberty Island is a popular destination today because of the magician show. The next shuttle boat should come soon, but it's the last one of the day, so don't miss it.
Please excuse me. The international liner is due soon, and I have to prepare. I'm happy to take you to Liberty Island, but you'll have to wait a bit. Something is wrong with the engine. Well, bring me the tool bag if you'd like to help. It's on that baggage cart with the cargo I'm supposed to take on my next trip. Something happened to that boat. It's on fire. Help! Help me! Thank you. You saved my life. The fire blocked my way to the dock. I tried to get through the flames, but I burned my hands. Please find something to bandage them. Thank you. That should protect my hands while they heal. I don't know how I'll fix the engine like this, though. I ordered parts for it, but they should have come in long ago. Maybe you can pick them up. Here's the invoice. Oh, my. What happened while I was away? Captain, your hands. We need to get you to the hospital. I can take you. Do you think you can handle the engine, Agatha? Take the invoice for the parts I ordered. They should have come by now. I owe you for saving me. But if you get her fixed and take her out, do me one favor. Be gentle, eh? We don't have time to waste, but if you need to retrieve the captain's cargo, you can find it yourself. I'll open the luggage compartment for you. Thank you.
Thank you.
It's Houdini and his accomplice. Are they... fighting? Now I see what you're really up to. I won't let you do this. You fool. No one can stop me. And you. My plans almost collapsed because of you two. You pay for this. Oh no! Help! Are you okay? You're a detective, right? Then I wish to confess. I'll tell you what I know, but please understand that I had no intention of causing this destruction. Someone named H.J. contacted me a few months ago and asked me to create and advertise an incredible show. He promised to organize an illusion nobody had seen before. A huge phoenix would appear and vanish throughout New York. I was so inspired that I immersed myself in rehearsals and experiments and put my trust in H.J. Unfortunately, I discovered his destructive plans too late. Don't think that I'm trying to excuse myself. I'm willing to accept my part in this. Thank you for your help, Detective. I'll settle things with Houdini. He shares some of the responsibility, but I don't believe he meant any harm. He gave us some evidence. His letters from this H.J. person. According to these, H.J. was supposed to return to Paris after setting fire to the Statue of Liberty. Paris is well out of my jurisdiction but I know a private investigator there named Julius DuPont that can help you if you show him this letter. Good luck with your investigation, detective. <laughs>